and I'm working hard to get them back to work and gainfully employed, but I want to do it in a healthy way so that nobody else gets sick if we can help it. First tonight, Governor Kay Ivey's first sit down interview with CBS 42 since the COVID-19 pandemic began. And as you just heard, she's working to make sure Alabamians are safe slowly reopening the state. I'm Jack Royer and I'm Sherry Jackson. Thank you for joining us. The governor talked to CBS 42 state Capitol reporter Rashad Hudson about a wide range of COVID-19 topics. He joins us now from Montgomery with a story. In that one on one interview with the governor, she talked about the fight between her and the legislature over that $1.8 billion from the federal government used to fight coronavirus. She also addressed the criticism on both sides of the state's handling of this virus. Since the coronavirus pandemic, more than 400,000 Alabamians find themselves unemployed. A lot of these folks have never had a penny of government aid of any kind, and certainly I don't understand that frustration. We sat down with Governor Kay Ivey to talk about protecting lives as well as livelihoods during the pandemic. But it's hard to have a life if you don't have a livelihood. So protecting our economy and trying to get it back up to speed or near speed is, is just really important for all of us. How would you rate the state's handling of COVID-19? Well, so far so good. We've done we've done fairly well. We've got people going back to work now on a limited basis and we're making strides to open up some more businesses. So we're doing the best we can. It's a, just an awful situation. As people are fighting for their lives, lawmakers and the governor are battling over how to spend $1.8 billion in coronavirus aid. Here are some of the recommendations on how the governor is proposing lawmakers use the money. 300 million directly to state agencies, 300 million to businesses and nonprofits, and 250 million to health care. And yesterday you issued an executive amendment with that, uh, with what you would like to see the money go toward. Why not do that in the first place, sort of take the lead on this issue like we've seen many governors around the country? So it's not my list. It's the people's list, and I'm just standing up for the people of Alabama to be sure that their monies were spent as it was intended. Lawmakers will return to Montgomery on Monday to take a look at these amendments the governor is proposing. Reporting in Montgomery, Rashad Hudson, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.